Arjun from LendClear. This guy is a badass. You have a lending issue, you don't have perfect credit, you've got a kind of interesting situation on how you want to finance things. He is your guy. And we're here today with him to talk about some creative ways of financing and how you could do a renovation with him, finance it, get a loan to redo a kitchen, etc. This is super interesting. Stay tuned. Here are three very important factors you need to keep in mind if you're buying a project home or fix and flip. If you're gonna fix it, you gotta remember three things. You have gotta have enough money. It's gonna cost more money than somebody tells you. You gotta have more time. It's gonna take more time than somebody tells you. And number three, you have got to have the right people because there are a lot of people that'll tell you that they can do stuff for you and they have no experience. Because nothing finishes under budget, does it? Never. Never, no such thing. Doesn't finish under budget or ahead of time. So you gotta have patience, thick skin, time, money, and work with good people like her. And remember, people oftentimes in the construction industry are trying to tell you it's gonna be a low price to get the job. And then you're being charged extras for little changes that you make, and there goes your budget. You hear it all the time, it's almost like a cliche that who you work with matters. But I feel actually it doesn't get enough attention because it's not just about maybe the person's track record, I wanna know a little bit more about what makes that person tick, what drives them. So I ask you, Tyler, why does your background as a very successful and kick-ass athlete matter when it comes to working with clients? Mindset is honestly what matters with everything. People quit, they give up. When things get hard, they run, they run to the sides. When you have the mindset of an athlete, you realize there is no way through, but through. And that's, oftentimes we are thrown challenges in real estate in life. And if you can't find your way through, stay on your path and not be distracted by the noise, you will not succeed. Okay, so now I have a client that bought a house that's like almost exactly what they want, but they still need to do a kitchen, a bathroom, and maybe some other cosmetic stuff. What are the options for them to pull out some money to do that work if they've owned it for a year or, you know. Right. They need to do some work. So they probably put down enough money to have 10, 20, 30% equity in the home, but then now realize they need some money to actually do a little bit of work on it, add the bathroom, renovate the kitchen, whatever it might be. They're not gonna restructure the financing because they're locked in at a good rate. So here's how you do it. You take out a line of credit or a home equity line, and you can do them in as little as a week. That's how fast they can be done. You apply, you have cash back to you in a week, and then you can actually finish out the project without having to restructure all of your debt and all of your financing. And the HELOC you said is nine, 10% versus putting it on your credit card, which would be like 20%. Right. The worst way you can do it would be to go out and get a personal line of credit, put it on credit cards, or borrow against your 401k, which are things that sometimes people think they have as, as their only option. The best way to do it is to take out a line of credit because you're borrowing against the home, which has tax benefits, and that equity is just sitting there doing nothing for you anyways. So this is the best use of the money. So here's a scenario I'm running into all the time. Real estate in the Bay Area is so expensive to buy, but oftentimes people wanna buy before they sell. But I say to my clients, I need you out of the house because in order to get you the most amount for your property, I need the house prepped and staged and ready to go. But they say, but how do I do that? How do I buy my new home without selling my other home first? What are my solutions? Two words, bridge loan. So you look at the home that you have and there needs to be equity in it. And based on that equity, you'll get approved for an, a deal that basically is good as cash, that can close in 14 days or less, which is the bridge loan, can buy your new property, exit your home, then she can stage it, get it cleaned up and ready to bring to market so that it gets top dollar. You're already in your new home, you get to sell your former home at top dollar, everything washes out, and that's the beauty of a bridge loan product. Okay, so if you're looking to buy a fixer home, yeah. maybe like this, maybe a little bit less, okay. um, what are the different types of ways that you could finance it? Because what I'm thinking, are construction loans are pretty expensive these days. Is there a different way to kind of think about how to keep your cash to do the work? Yes, there is. The hack is that you buy it as a primary residence, therefore you can use a low down payment loan option. By putting down just a little bit and holding onto your cash to do the work on the home that's gonna be required, you can actually buy the home and basically do your construction financing all together, as opposed to taking out two loans of financing the home and then getting out a very expensive construction loan. That's how you hack your way into your fixer project. So I hope that was really interesting. I know it is a ton of information. We went a lot of different directions, but I'm here for you. Call me, text me, 
I'm here to help. Let's answer your questions.